In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can sell on whatnot without going live. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. Hi everyone, it is Stephanie with Three Queens Resell, and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. And if you are a reseller bestie, thanks for joining and supporting and coming back again and again. It does mean a lot to me. Somehow we have gotten over 1K followers, and I appreciate it because it has been slow growth, but it has been growth nonetheless of people who are interested in reseller content that is positive and somewhat educational. I hope that you can get something out of these videos. Today, I am going to share with you how you can make money on whatnot without going live. So if you haven't been approved to sell live or you don't have the desire to sell live, I have another tip, another way that you can still use the app and make money. So Whatnot is a live selling app and if you do not have the app, you can use my code to sign up. You'll get $10 off your first purchase and I will get $10 as well, in which I use to support new sellers on the app. So um, you do need to have the Whatnot app to do this. So what I'm talking about, if you don't want to sell live, because Whatnot does not currently allow silent auctions, you can list your items to the marketplace. And in listing the items to the marketplace, people can buy them outright. So this week I had three different items, four different items sell on the marketplace. So it's slow growing, but it's, it is new. And week over week, I have seen like a pickup for the first few weeks. It was just one item, two items. But this week I had four items and I don't promote them. Uh, I don't do anything. People just buy them outright. So it is something worth trying if you are not on whatnot. It's just another platform to showcase your items um, to other people. So you might be asking how do I do this? Well, you do need to have a WhatNot account set up. So that is step one. So use my code down below if you don't have an account set up. Um, if you do have an account set up, I'm going to pop over to my computer screen and show you how to do this like real quick. So see you on the other side, friends. Got my screen up. As you can see, you're going to first start off by going to help.whatnot.com and this will this is how I got over there okay and then you're gonna scroll down now this I only know how to do this from Poshmark to whatnot so if you're not on Poshmark sorry I can't help you um, but if you are on Poshmark like I know a lot of people are um, you're going, this is how you're going to do it. So you're going to go to this link, but before we do that, um, I'm going to tell you, it's going to update the listing info as needed. Um, you can click the category and choose what net, what, what not category best suits your listing. And you can click estimated weight and choose the weight profile that fits each item. Because as you know, um, things are, assigned shipping based on weight on whatnot on lot, which is different than Poshmark okay so we're going to go ahead and click the link um, so this is going to help us import our items and so over here in my seller dashboard and create a listing it says choose import option and more coming soon so maybe if you don't have Poshmark maybe um, Depop or eBay will be coming soon I doubt eBay but we'll see um, so now it's gonna ask for my username my Poshmark username and so just to make sure I get this right I always jump back over to Poshmark even though I know it's three Queens resell but um, I like to add the URL to my Posh Closet. 
So I'm going to click on my own closet. And just grab that. Copy and paste it. Find my right link. And then drop it in there. And review import. So now it's going to crunch the numbers and do a bulk import. And this could take a few minutes. So um, while this is crunching the numbers and bringing things over, um, I've already loaded my closet. And I do this every like Monday um, to capture any new listings. But you also have to go through and delete the listings that sell off of your other platforms because um, this is not connected to if you have Vendu or um, List Perfectly. So you have to remember to manually delete them off of or go into Vendu and delete them off of or List Perfectly off the other apps when they sell on here so that you don't. Um, and same way, vice versa. If it's something, if you've cross listed to Poshmark, eBay, Macari, Depop, like I do, and the items sell over there then I have to make sure I come over here and d delete them so that they don't sell this is not internet interconnected with any other platforms currently so that is something to think about it is it worth even being bothered with like I said I've only sold four I sold four items this week I'm expecting this to grow especially throughout the summer and I kind of feel like what does it hurt Okay, so as you can see, it has populated, it has imported 500 items. I think that is all it can do at any one time. So if you have like 4,000 items in your Poshmark closet, you'd have to do this a number of times to get all of them over. So I have all of them selected because I want them all to come over. So it says um, I have 28 complete, so incomplete. So let's look at those 28 first and determine why they are incomplete. So these are all kids' items. Well, and that's my picture of me. So I'm going to go through and kind of look at each of these unknown category um these are kids children's so you have to go through on the ones shoes or maybe i'll just put shoes hmm. okay Category is not coming up, so I'm just going to delete those. The ones that, um, these are sold, or on what? Oh, there are, I don't know why. So, we'll just delete all these, because I, they're probably already. So now, I've dealt with all the ones that have issues, Okay. By deleting them, you can delete them or you can change the weight, whatever it tells you to do. I don't feel like feel like fooling with it. I guess I could fool with one to show you guys. We'll fool with this one. Um, so we will. Let's see what it's saying we need to do. Oh, there's all these down here. Hold on. That's already on there. Okay, so we'll fool with these two. So, unknown category. Um, baby and kids. And that was already on there. Okay. We'll fool with this one. We're going to... It has an unknown category. Baby and kids is the category. Unknown category, um, bags, let's see if that's, bags and accessories, um, these are, this has an unknown category, uh, 
dance. Hmm. We'll just put women's. Um, and then we'll get rid of all these guys. Actually, we'll change the category to kids. Baby kids. Why is it changing? Mm. Mm. And so we've changed all the categories of the ones that had issues. Sometimes it'll say like unknown weight, so we have to click on that and estimate the weight because weight is important on whatnot. It's, um, it's important in all of reselling, but specifically on whatnot where we, how they do their shipping. So once we have, this one still has unknown weight. We are going to import our 48 item of 481 items. And so then it is going to put those in our marketplace and then they will be available to sell. So this is just another avenue in which you can sell things. Um, it is a tough economy and reselling things are getting tighter and tighter. So I really feel like the more ways you can put your eye eyes on your items, the better off for you. Okay, so we got the import successful screen. It does take a few minutes, like I have sped up the video to um, get past that, but it does take three to four minutes for it to import. And they are in our seller hub. So I already had listings in my seller hub, um, but you can, and you can come straight to this page too. So once you get your account set up, you can go to, straight to your seller hub to listings and to create a listing and import um, the items. So I can edit them from here. It shows that they're active, but I can edit the price. Um, or do whatever I need to and yeah so if you like this kind of content um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in reseller content and I will be back with another video in the future bye